over to True Tears, and I'm here with my dad with a special episode. We're going to start reviewing the Switch Pro Controller. Okay, I think the Switch Pro Controller is a very good controller. It fits into your hand very nicely. Mm -hmm. And it's even translucent so you can see what's inside. That's right. Uh, I like the buttons. They're kind of, they're not mushy, they're kind of clicky. Yeah. Uh, it's got a nice comfortable feeling in it. Mm -hmm, it's like the Xbox version. And there's a good battery charge on it. The only thing I will say, it is a bit expensive, isn't it? It was like, how much was it? Oh, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, 70 or 80 euro. So if I was reviewing this, I would give it... We can see through the back there. Yeah, yes you can. Because uh, I like it, I'd give it a good 9 out of 10. No, you tell me. Well, the thing I've noticed is that the right Joy-Con is the Amiibo functionality. But in some games, it's the home button. Mm -hmm. And which is why I love the feel of this controller. The controls are kind of like the Xbox, but the buttons have now been swapped. Yeah, BA and X and Y. Yeah, BA, X and Y. And it works on, what else does it work on? It, it works on, oh god, I don't know. Oh, we got to work on the retro play, didn't we? Yes, we did. And... So what would you give it out of 10? Okay, so I give it an 8. 8 out of 10? Okay, and we've got one more review, not finished yet. This bad boy. Yes, Please. this is the smallest controller ever. This is the 8 bit 2 0. Mm -hmm. It's like the smallest controller ever. Uh, we got one of these Christmas Day. Yeah, we got that on Christmas Day. Now, this one, it works on Android and it works on iOS. PC. And, PC. But it doesn't work on iOS. Yeah. And it has all the functions from the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, the D-Pad, X, Y, A, B. And it came, with a, it came with a keyring mm -hmm. that you can attach to it. I like how the buttons can uh, swap back to the Xbox version. Are different than that? Hmm. There it is. Look. Takes in the way there in the big... Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's, we haven't tried it out actually yet on the game because we've no iOS. Oh, it doesn't work on iOS. Yeah, it doesn't work on iOS. Well, the box said it would work on IK, but we couldn't find how to do it. And uh, mm -hmm. we can't get it to work. But we got it to work on PC, but only this button here works. And it turns it up and down. So I can't really give this anything out of 10 because I haven't seen it working yet. What do you say? Mm, I see this controller is fine, so a 3. You can use that. Oh. <laughs> I still gave it a 3 anyways. Okay, the three, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, <laughs> ah, ah, no! <laughs> 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 and that's another actually leave the point because you can drop it and it doesn't break so I'm gonna give it a point for that and oh, no. tomorrow <laughs> review what will we do tomorrow the NES the NES no yeah the N30 R K stick that we all forgot for Christmas and the Lude Xbox One controller review though uh, so casual game review this I forget what I gave it what did I give it eight or nine or ten or ten uh, but it's good I love this give it a nine nine or ten yeah. And this one I'm going to give it a 1 because I haven't used it on ink, but it doesn't let it fall and it still works. <laughs> Do you know saying before you go? Well, as always, thank you so much for watching and remember, it's a theory, a game theory. I think I've changed it Hey, hello. We should call ourselves the casual game. <laughs> <laughs> Is that